Remember when I made a video a few days ago saying that Gaiju was making a lot of stupid BR decisions? Yeah, they somehow managed to make it even worse. I mean, there's a lot you could talk about specifically, but there is one overarching theme here. Battle rating compression. Plain and simple. Across the board, lower tier tanks are being pushed up, higher tier tanks are being pushed down. If I had to name one issue that has the biggest impact on War Thunder, compression would be it. Pretty much any time I or someone else makes a video on how overpowered a vehicle is, the solution can be boiled down to decompression. Leopard 2 stomping top tier, move them and some other MBTs up to 11.0, or even better, 11.3. Expanding top tier BRs gives you a lot more room to space out other vehicles in the game. Instead, Gaijin wants to do things in the most difficult and roundabout ways. Instead of simply up-tiering Leopard 2s, they're nerfing the reload rate. First of all, the reload rate of Leopard 2s isn't an issue. The issue is that when compared to other top tier MBTs, they have much more armor, smaller weak spots, the same mobility, and excellent penetration. As everyone knows by this point, I would rather have tanks perform at their full potential in-game, with their battle ratings being raised accordingly. It's why they exist in the first place. Gaijin is also overcorrecting by lowering Russian MBTs. Russia isn't going to have a 10.7 MBT when these changes go live. Despite the TADU and T-72B3 being very effective, I don't think the MBT-70 squaring up against the TADU is very fair. Same could be said for a lot of other changes. The Object 120 is going down to 7.3, while the T-25 is going to 6.3. So now what is effectively a better Pershing is going to be fighting a vehicle that can pen the M1 Abrams frontally. Things aren't looking great on the plane side of things either. I could go through pretty much the entire list with examples like that, but you already know how stupid this is. The question is, why is Gaijin incredibly stubborn when it comes to this? Why are they so opposed to decompression? Their official stance is that even something as simple as 11.0 is impossible. Not difficult or anything like that, just outright impossible. Obviously this is complete nonsense. There's nothing stopping them from doing so. Their reasons for not decompressing are completely counterproductive as well. They claim they want to keep the game diverse, and that expanding battle ratings would increase queue times. I don't know about everyone else, but I would rather fight a few tanks that I actually have a chance against, instead of a bunch of tanks that can kill me without thinking. Not like the game is exactly diverse to begin with anyway. That argument doesn't apply to arcade battles at all. Realistic has mixed matches in lend tanks, and Sim just has the latter. As for increasing queue times, by not decompressing battle ratings, Gaijin is actively shooting themselves in the foot here. War Thunder is bleeding players because a lot of people are growing tired of the same old song and dance. And I've said this before, I would gladly wait longer for games if it meant the games were actually enjoyable. I'm sure a lot of players would. The fact that Gaijin isn't even willing to experiment with this idea speaks volumes. For Gaijin, their stats are absolute and paint the whole picture. The opinions of players don't matter. The only time they'll change anything is if there is an insane amount of public outcry, like there was over the M48. It's pretty hard to argue with your personal experience doesn't matter, our stats don't lie. They're right, stats don't lie, but they can certainly be misinterpreted. Normally at this point in the video, I would explain how I would change things, how I think the game can be improved, but Gaijin has already made it clear they aren't going to budge. I mean, just look at the list. They held most of the changes in reserve until the point we couldn't object to them. No one was asking for most of these changes. All I can do is express how much I dislike what they're doing, and even that's pointless. Sooner or later, Gaijin is going to have to expand BRs. If we ever get to the point where something like the CATDB is added at 10.7, I think that'd be enough for me. Anyway, sorry for the rant video, but these newest changes were too awful to ignore. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.